How long have you been playing the game? Are you constantly improving or are you riding a roller coaster of inconsistency? Do you take lessons every year in practice but find at the end of the year your score is basically the same every year? Do you read books and watch the golf channel trying to change your swing plane and your sequence of motion but find nothing seems to work? Well the chances are the answer is in your grip. So today we're going to give you a clear explanation of the three basic grips and how they affect the flight of the ball. So stay tuned. There are basically three kind of golf grips. There's the overlap, the baseball grip, and the interlock. It doesn't matter which grip you use, there's certain essentials that every good player has. So today we're going to look at the one essential element that is the foundation for every good grip. For a right-handed golfer, you want the palm of your right hand facing the target. The rest of the grip is built around your right hand. So here's a simple routine to get your hands in the correct position. Later on, I'll show you how to adapt this position to find the unique grip that suits you. First, hold the club in your left hand. Make sure the leading edge of the club is perpendicular to the ground. Now place your right hand on by putting the club in the middle two fingers just below the palm. Now turn your right hand till the palm is facing the target and cover your left thumb. And the last thing which is crucial to the grip is making sure you create a trigger with the forefinger and the thumb of the right hand. So let's look at two of the most common misconceptions. One of the things if you're having trouble with slicing the ball is make sure your right thumb is off to the side. When you put pressure on your right thumb it tends to open the club face at impact. The second mistake many golfers make is what's called too strong a grip where your right hand is turned underneath the club. This grip tends to also leave the club face open at impact which creates a left to right slice spin. So, just to recap, make sure when you grip the club, the palm of your right hand is facing the target and you're holding the club in the middle two fingers just below the palm. Create a trigger with your right thumb and forefinger. Finally, when you get the complete grip on, now you can look at your hands to see the number of visible knuckles or where the V's point as a guideline to make sure you grip the club the same way every time. So now that you know the one essential element found in every effective grip, let's look at the terms strong and weak grips. Those terms don't, uh, don't relate to how tight you're holding the club, but they relate to the position of the right hand. In a strong grip, the right hand is underneath the club. So this is typically called a strong or a motorcycle grip. When you're holding the club with this grip, it tends to make the club face close quickly at impact. Obviously, as the club face closes, you could hit the ball, top it, hit it thin, or hit a wild hook. A weak grip means the right hand is turned to the left on the club. So if you were to open up your right hand, the palm of that hand would be facing the ground. This weak grip tends to make the club face open at impact, which causes the ball to go high and off to the right. So the way you can tell whether to use a strong or a weak grip or a neutral grip is start off where we were at the beginning with the palm of your right hand facing the target. Hit at least a dozen shots and note where the club face was contacting the ball. If more than half the shots are hit on the sweet spot, then you found your right grip. If you found a lot of your shots are going low and left, it means your hands are turned into too strong a grip, so you want to move them a little bit to the left. If your shots are tending to go high and to the right, it means your grip is too weak, so you want to move a little bit to the right. Once you've found the grip that hits 50% of the shots in the, club, in the sweet spot of the club face, then you've found your ideal grip. You can use your, the V's in your hands and the knuckles as a guideline to make sure you hold the club in the same way every time. So now that you know the secret of an effective grip, let's do a quick review. 
you want the palm of your right hand facing the target at address. So when you grip the club in this manner, the V's in your right hand will point towards your right shoulder. In a strong grip, the V in your right hand points outside your right shoulder. And in a weak grip, the V points outside your left shoulder. In order to find the grip that works for you, start with a neutral grip with the palm of your right hand facing the target. Hit a dozen shots and when you can hit more than half a dozen shots on the sweet spot, then you found the right grip for you. If your shots tend to go low and left, your right hand is too strong. If your shots tend to go high and right, your right hand is too weak. Now that you understand the difference between the three types of grip, the neutral, the strong and the weak, let's take a look at how these three positions affect the plane or the swing path. When you set up to the ball with a neutral grip and you swing back until the club is parallel to the ground, when the grip is correct, the leading edge of the club will be perpendicular to the ground or the toe of the club will be pointing straight up. In this position, it allows the club to come back squarely to the ball on line with the target. If you start off with a very strong grip with your right hand turned underneath the club, your arms naturally swing around your body like a baseball swing. When you bring the club back down to impact, you can see the face of the club is completely closed, so the ball will tend to go low and left. When you start off with a weak grip, with the right hand turned well to the left, now the arms naturally swing up and down in a choppy or slicing motion. You'll tend to either hit the ground behind the ball, or if you do make contact, you can see the face is wide open, the ball will tend to go off high and to the right. So now you have the tools to find the unique grip for you. The way to find the grip is to adjust the right hand position until you're making consistently solid contact. I hope today's video has helped you see the one essential element found in every effective grip and that's the position of your right hand. Get out and practice, make sure you keep the palm of your right hand facing the target, and you'll soon see that slice disappear. Thanks for watching, make sure before you go you check out our other videos, and make sure you subscribe, we'll look forward to bringing you more helpful hints soon. And a thumbs up is always appreciated.